Hey everybody, um, right after Christmas before the light show closed up I kind of made some promises to do a behind the scenes of what my light show is, the inner workings of it. So this is the video we'll do that. I do have some updates and some general history about the light show and this is primar primarily focused at the local crowd. So I'm not an actor, but I have so I have notes. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the notes because my memory. So I'm Ben. I am the Joy on Wendy Way Light Show. I also have Ben's Backyard Shop, which deals with frag out and does some woodworking. So I do a bunch of different things, and they're all kind of hobby-ish, but the Ben's Backyard Shop borders more toward business. I've been interested in light show for years. Um, I've always wanted to build out a light show. Even in college, in my dorm room, I had lights all over the place. It was terrible for my roommate, great for me. In 2019, my parents wanted to replace the grimy old rope lights on the roof line of their house and that's where I got my chance to make a light show. Now the original plan was just to replace the roof line, well I went overboard and it worked well. So we had that light show with some of the props that you've probably seen here if you're local from 2019 to 2021 and that was in Howard. We didn't really have a Facebook page for it, we just told family and friends it was kind of a pain me having to travel back and forth to do some of the work but there was some stuff I could do remotely. My house at the time was just not conducive to a light show and that's one of the things I was looking for when I was in the market for my house. Fast forward to 2022, well actually October of 2021, I bought the house out here in Pulaski that, well, that we're talking about in this video. Now we'll fast forward to 2022. Tragedy struck and we lost our mom almost a year ago to date in February. And that kind of took the wind out of my sails a little bit, but mom loved Christmas and I figured I needed to spread that joy, so I, in May I got to working on the light show. Yes, putting up my Christmas took me from Christmas lights, took me from May to about October. Um, everything that you've seen on the show, on the light show, is do it yourself. I mean, we can order some of the props, and of course we order the lights, but all the lights on the house, how they're mounted on the house, is all do it yourself. PVC pipe, I 3D printed the mounts, made my own cables, cut all the lights to length, a lot of splicing, a lot of soldering. The controller boxes that you're about to see were all built by me, and some of them are going to get upgraded. This year, my plan was to only do the Christmas show. I kind of got the Halloween bug at the last minute and ran a little Halloween show. It was nothing spectacular, but it was really nice to see everybody enjoying it. It was a really good dry run. So going forward, we will be doing a Halloween show. Um, how long it'll last or dates, you know, if it's just going to be Halloween or the weekend or whatever, we don't know yet. But if you have ideas or ideas for things to put in a show, leave them in the comments down below or leave them on the Facebook page. So running a light show. My light show, what you're going to see, here are some stats. It has three Raspberry Pi single board computers, two of which are in the projectors and one which is a master. It has one Culp pixel controller 16 port and one Culp 8 port con pixel controller. It has one long range receiver with four ports. It has one ESP pixel stick. It has two BeagleBone Black small board computers, over 4,000 4, RGB pixel, that's the lights. And then there's 21 props. And the props are a mixture of corrugated plastic and 3D printed with one that's actually 8th inch MDF. The hobby is awesome. It's really fun to do. It's expensive. If you guys are getting into it, if you want to get into it, it's really a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to watch the people enjoying the show. I really enjoyed all the comments and messages that I got from people this year, but if you're getting into it, know that it's an investment like anything else. It's a little bit more upfront, and then adding it over the years isn't so bad, but you'll enjoy it if you get into it. I couldn't have made this light show possible without a few people. Number one, my sister. She's the one that actually does all the social media messages that you guys have seen. She does a lot of the crafting. She's helped put a lot of the lights in the props. Um, soon she's going to learn how to build a computer. 
Um, hopefully soon she'll learn more about the electronic side of it too. She does a bit of the marketing. I say marketing like we got a lot of marketing, but... <laughs> and like I said, she's learning. My dad, um, dad was really helpful. Excuse me. He helped with, well, number one, letting me do it on his house, and that was the practice, and boy, was it practice. But he helped with this house, bringing out the lift and helping put up some of the lights, so. And then the guy at work, Tony, my electrician, he has helped add some ports and some more electrical for the light show. Right now the light show runs basically on one 15 amp circuit. Uh, we do have another 20 amp available, but we just don't need it yet. Pixels do not use that much light. The monitors behind me actually use up more power than what the light show does. Show update really quick. What's going on right now? Right now, obviously, I'm making a video, but after about a month and a half of a break I'm now starting to update software on the controllers and PCs and I'm going to be doing some behind the scenes networking and controller box upgrades. We're researching new props for next year to bring out new fun things. We're researching just in general new ideas so if you guys have ideas, things you want to see, things you think are cool leave them in the comments below. We really want to hear about them. Uh, we're looking at maybe a little bit more interactivity, if that's the word, being more interactive. Uh, we have some ideas for some things for the kids. As we as that comes out, we'll share them on the Facebook page. We're also considering doing a website for it. Uh, we'd really like this to grow in the area. We had over 500 cars from Thanksgiving to Christmas come here. I don't know how many people. It's awesome that everybody could come out and we could bring that joy. Mom would have loved it. Matter of fact, I know she did love it. We want to keep doing that, keep letting it grow, as long as we can keep control over the crowds. All right. That's all I have. I'll stop talking. Let's get into the walkthrough. So, on the walk around part, we'll start here in my little office. Right here is the main computer I use for setting things up, so... On the left two monitors, I have the X-Lite software. On the right monitor, I have that Falcon Pi Player software up. The monitor above that just watches the cameras. Keeps an eye on things, makes sure things don't get crazy. Front window here, we got four props, three spinners, one snowflake. I believe each of them has about 50 pixels. That is 200 lights right there. The three spinners, or round ones, are 3D printed. Excuse the light there. The snowflake is cut out, cut out of quarter inch MDF on the CNC. These are all controlled by a Wi-Fi operated ESP pixel stick. So that runs off at of 12 volts. And it has one output that can control up to 600 lights. Now we will move... Out to the garage and work our way outside. All right, out to the garage. In between the gas cans, we have the FM transmitter, which gets our music onto the radios in your cars. Then, if we move up up here, start with we have a Casa power strip, so it's automated from the house, so it can shut everything down after the show. We have a small sound blaster sound card. Really improves the audio coming out of some of these small board computers. 12 volt power supply. This power supply and setup controls everything on the garage. This is my master controller. So this pushes out the sound and it controls the other controllers around the yard. Here is the Culp 8 port controller, Wi-Fi, and then that's got four ports in use right now, also powered by 12 volts. Now we go through the snow. We'll actually break into the box, the other box, but that's one of the controllers that controls the projector. It does have 
ventilation in it as those projectors as those projectors get rather warm. Up in the corner, right up there is one of the cameras. And then just on the other side of the house, there is a new network jack and power. So as you can see, our props and our lights here. This video, we won't talk about future expansion, but there will be some. The Nutcracker is set up to work with this system, but I did not have it set, set out for this year. I do have another one. That will be added in next year. One side of the garage gets snowflakes. The other side of the garage has spinners. And those are mounted to the house with screw-in mounts from Matos Designs. And dog looks like she's having fun. Out by the flagpole, currently we have the two singing elements, the two singing bulbs. Everything that's standing in the yard has rebar stuck in the ground that it's mounted to. The box there, we have the four port uh, long range controller. We do have one floodlight and then two snowflakes. Those two snowflakes were originally supposed to be mounted on the flagpole, but it just didn't work. So they got to sit there this year and it'll get adjusted next year. We've got our four candy canes and lollipops, two of each. We've got our projector screen which is just blackout curtain. I will find somebody to make that a little bit better for next year. Another camera. And here is the other box for projector. These are watertight boxes. So we've got the Epson projector in there and that is power to the projector is actually controlled by the Raspberry Pi and then this has a little power strip in it and this is also off another one of the smart outlets. This is all time so I don't have to do anything to turn it on. This is the main large controller for the store. Store. Show. Again, this runs off the smart outlet. It's an outdoor smart outlet from Casa. And this is the main box, which this box will be getting upgraded shortly. So in the box, we have the mean well power supply. Meanwhile, power supply, 12 volt to 5 volt converter, and then we have the Culp 16B controller with 16 ports, which I'm only using a few. Then we have a network cable that heads out to the flagpole, and that's what controls the long range controller. This is also set up on Wi Fi currently which will be changing. This whole box and whole setup will be changing. All my cables are X-Connect and they are labeled. And there's a lot of them. And we do try to hide some of them. And there are plenty of extension cords in this too. That's it for controlling elements for this year. For around the windows, well, pretty much anything mounted in the house, that's all 3D printed mounts that I 3D printed. There are links, I'll put links in the descriptions below to some of that, the files. We've got the four mini trees. 
which I think again have 50 lights each, so another 200. And then we have the big wreath, which has uh, got 700 lights on it. As for the show for this year, that's the behind the scenes of it. I'll put down some more videos as we decide what we're going to add for next year and as we start building stuff out. Like I said, that box is going to get built out here in the next couple of weeks. Look a little bit nicer, be a little bit cleaner in the area. I started putting this setup for this year's show out in May and had it running for Halloween. The hay bale is a leftover from Halloween. It just worked. Next year we're going to add some stuff for Christmas and we're going to add some stuff for Halloween. Lots of new things coming out, so we'll send videos or give Facebook updates when we get something or when we decide to put something in. For now, that's it. Now I can start taking this stuff down, putting it away until next year. Well, later this year. All right, thanks for watching the Joy on Wendy Way walkthrough and behind the scenes. As we get new props in, we'll make maybe new videos or at least take pictures. We'll put updates and stuff on the Facebook page. As it gets closer to the show times, we'll do a little bit more, let you know when it is, get things hyped up for it, and we'll do our best to make things exciting and new and fun. One last request, if you guys have any songs for Halloween or Christmas that you'd like to see in the show, put that in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you.